In the latest constitutional crisis to hit Pakistan, the ball is in the Supreme Court yet again. This time, a petition has been filed urging the federal government to seek the top court's opinion on the legal status of the Official Secrets Act and Pakistan Army Act amendment bills. At the heart of this controversy stands President Dr. Arif Alvi, who recently disclosed that he did not provide assent to these bills, plunging the nation into yet another uncharted territory of uncertainty. For context, let's delve into Article 75, Clause 1 of the Constitution, which lays the foundation for the initial transformation of a bill into law. When a bill lands on the President's desk, a 10-day window opens for approval. If it's not a financial bill, the President can refer it back to the Parliament, asking for reconsideration along with specific amendments. The bill then undergoes scrutiny within the joint session of the Parliament encompassing the National Assembly and the Senate. If it secures majority approval in both houses, it returns to the President's desk for a final decision. Here's the twist. In this stage, Article 75, Clause 2, the President's endorsement is implicitly presumed when the 10-day period concludes. Transitioning to Article 75, Clause 3, once the President approves the bill or it's assumed to be approved, it earns the status of law, bearing the title Act of Majlis Ishwara. And lastly, Clause 4 ensures that if an act adheres to the constitutional process, it remains valid, even if a necessary recommendation or consent was not obtained. Now, let's pivot to the ongoing situation and the petition brought forth by advocate Zulfikar Ahmad Bhutta, addressing a pressing concern. Buddha highlights the potential exploitation of the uncertainty surrounding these bills, enabling the accused to secure acquittal. Buddha contends that individuals acquitted due to the uncertainty around these bills might endeavor to file cases against law enforcement officials and related officers under sections 219 and 220 of the Pakistan Penal Code. His petition underscores the fear that without timely intervention from the Supreme Supreme Court, future prosecutions under these bills could face substantial setbacks, undermining the endeavors of prosecution and investigative agencies.